Hey guys, it's Alicia Renee and I'm back to do the second part of the series of videos that I have been doing for foundation. The first one was drugstore um, foundation and ethnic approach and that's for women of color or um, women who are more pigmentally endowed as I always say. Um, different products that you can look out for and ones that I would recommend from personal experience. And then the last one, I don't know for whatever reason I did that one before I did this one. But that one is showing you the different application techniques um, with some of the different brushes that you will see when you're going to look at brushes or sponges. And that will be put up if it's not already up. And then this one is going to be entitled to prime or not to prime. So I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. But there are several different products that are out there on the market. If you have been thinking about priming your face or been doing any research, there are ones that you have probably come across or heard of. The more most um, the one that is more well known, I would say, is going to probably be the uh, Smashbox Photo Finish. And um, oftentimes, a lot of people use that. But the thing is, it's like it's a little more pricey for a little thing like this. It's like I want to say like thirty some odd bucks. And um, yeah, but it's kind of tight nowadays. So if you are starting to look for alternatives now. Um, NARS has one, I think MAC has one, I'm not really sure. But there are two I'm going to talk about specifically in this video because they're readily accessible and I have used them myself. So, let me tell you what primer is for. Primer is just like when you paint a wall, you know, if you have any blemishes or anything like that. Most of the time when you go into like places like Home Depot, they'll tell you to prime it with like kills or something like that. It's a paint product. It's the same thing with your face. So, instead of trying to describe it to you, I'm going to show you pictures and describe it. So when you're young and your your skin is fresh, supple, and plump, you have nice smooth lines like this. Okay, so the makeup kind of just floats on there and it has a nice um, base for the makeup to go on to. However, with time, drinking, not enough sleep, um, dehydration, all the different things that you can do with your skin, smoking especially, you'll start to get wrinkles. And those wrinkles will be like little divots in the skin like this so instead of having that nice smooth one like that you'll start to have little dents well I would call it dents but like the crow's feet and the wrinkles here basically it's like a sunken in part of the skin so what the primer does is over those places where it's sunken in this red I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it or not the red allows um, it kind of suspends itself over the wrinkle so with the suspension there the makeup the foundation can sit on top of the wrinkle instead of going directly into the wrinkle which is what you don't want you don't want your um your your foundation to look like it's crinkling and cracking and stuff like that so that's where a good primer comes in so now that we know what it is i'm going to show you two different products one of which um i use more frequently believe it or not but um, this one, the first one is called Rimmel Fix and Perfect. Um, my girlfriend um, got me to use this. She had been testing it out. And it has like a salmon. This, this one has a salmon color. There are like two different ones. This one is 001. And it comes out kind of like this peachy salmon-y color. But as you rub it on, it dissipates. It disappears into the skin and you then apply your foundation now this one on my skin well it, to me since I'm looking at it you really can't see it um, it's kinda matte but it's not as matte as this next product I'm gonna show you the good thing about this is you can pretty much find it everywhere and it's very very reasonable so that again is the fix and perfect by Rimmel the next one yeah, there, I've read blogs, I've read debates about this back and forth, but I don't care what any of y'all say. I use it and I swear by it, and it actually is the Monistat Shaping Gel. Um, I read about it when I was starting to get into primers, and I was like, well, I, I got the box so you would know this is what you need to get. Do not go get that other stuff and put that on your face. Because that's not what I'm suggesting that you do, and... um. I don't even know what that was going to be a face, so don't do it. But anyways, this is it out the tube. Out the box, rather. 
And this comes out as a uh, soft gel. I'm going to put it on this hand so you can see it too. And it's a really soft gel. And um, it goes on clear as well. I'm going to put this on this side. And it's like this really silky type feeling to it. Um, because it's for shaping and shaping, if you don't know that, what that is, is like if you're... Um, you have like parts there if your arms rub or your thighs rub or whatever the case might be you will put that on so you don't um, rub your skin raw so that's what shaping is but this one because that's what it's created for it's like leaves a really satiny silky like really moisture where the makeup can just glide onto it and it's like this one is more matte than the first one that I showed you now I will, will say two things do not need a lot I'd rather you go with the little than put it on and have to take it off. Also, I found that it's better I'll prime my face and do something else. If I haven't picked out my eyeshadow, I'll do that. And then put on my foundation if I'm wearing it that day. Because if you put it on, it, either you have too much or you put it on too quickly, it'll make the product, your foundation, kind of like roll or whatever for whatever reason. And I'm thinking that's pretty much because I probably was using too much product. I'm kind of heavy-handed. But, um that is that um, I definitely 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 recommend the soothing care the monistat most people are kind of you know iffy about it because it's for the face but it works really really well so with that in mind it was two two things that I discussed now if you can afford going out and getting the more expensive product then by all means do so but if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to hit me up and I'll try my best to answer them for you but again that's the Rimmel Fix em, um, Perfect 001 or the Monist That Shaping Gel and you can find these at your neighborhood drugstores and everything so I hope this helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in my next video if you haven't checked out the first video check that out or check out the third one which is the techniques for applying your foundation See you guys next time. Thank you and color your world with a little more color. Bye guys.